I didn't make films right out of school. I wasn't, um, I wasn't so sure I could really do it at that point. And I felt like for me to understand making features and for me to try to make personal movies took more time of, of mine in the world. And so for me, it was a little more interesting to be making a living and figuring out how to just pay the rent and be engaged in the real world before actually trying to make a movie. The most interesting movies are fueled by a sense of uh, personal experience and a sense that movies aren't the only aren't the only passion, but that in fact there's a lot else in the life of that filmmaker or the life of that imagination. For me, particularly now, I have to say that I would always want to be an independent filmmaker. I, I'm at a point where I feel like there are great advantages to working in the studio system, and if the if the circumstances are right, it's still a very um, very worthy path to pursue. But for me, working in independent film, there's a sense of love and a sense of sacrifice that everyone shares by being there. It's almost just a prerequisite that you're there simply to make the movie because you're really not there to make money. <laughs> it's just not a, um, it's just never a guarantee at this, at when you're making movies for, for not a lot of money. So I feel like that unites people and the people who sort of you collect in the process who are going to work with you to make your movie end up being people who really want to be there. And I think that doesn't always have to be the case in, in studio filmmaking and that, that's definitely one of the number one advantages to working independently.